Close your eyes for a moment and imagine nothing. Absolute nothing. What do you see? Maybe a dark, empty space or the silence of an endless void. But here's a question. Is that really nothing? Is darkness, silence or even emptiness truly the absence of everything? Now open your eyes. Look around. The table, the phone, the water bottle. Have you ever thought about how these things, even you, came into existence? How did everything come into existence? To answer this question about everything, let's tackle a more difficult question first. What actually is nothing? This is where our journey begins, with the concept of nothing. It might seem like a simple idea, but for thousands of years, philosophers, theologians and scientists have obsessed with its meaning. What does it mean for something to come from nothing? And perhaps most mysteriously, could the entire universe, this infinite expanse of galaxies, stars and planets have emerged from a state of nothingness? Today, we're diving deep into the concept of nothing. We'll explore how ancient philosophers grappled with the idea, how modern science transformed our understanding of the vacuum, and whether the universe could have been born out of nothing at all. The story of nothing began long before modern science came into the picture. It starts with the earliest thinkers, those who first questioned the nature of existence and reality. In ancient Greece, Parmenides, one of the most profound philosophers, posed a simple but radical idea. 